Hello, it is Alyssa slash John Easy. Welcome to another video. I feel like I look sick right now and that's just because I'm freezing. <laughs> so my nose is really red and I'm kind of, ugh, it's so cold. Let me just readjust this. It's not a good angle for me. Not a good look. Oh, I'm recording on my phone to do a review on the camera that I have. Canon PowerShot SX740 HX. I originally had a Sony camera and it was about 360, no, 300 and like $69 to be exact. Hold on, I can actually show it from my computer. I mean, I can actually show it from my camera point of view. So this is my setup for now, by the way. Couldn't plug in the heater because it's too loud. This sounds bad. This part where the phone goes, the frame of the actual camera came off. The body, to me, it just appeared super weak. You can't see this, wait, hold on. Yeah, it was right here. So when I attached the Sony camera to this part, and it's just a ring light, it, like it's supposed to be on some kind of tripod, the body was coming off. So the camera right here, it's gonna be a lot of switching in this editing. Like this part was all coming off. So I didn't take that as a good sign. Um, I'm gonna stop this now. And then I decided like, okay, maybe Canon is worth it. Um, it's only like $30 more than the one that I have. So I might as well just upgrade to the Canon. Cause at that point I had only had the Sony for like 10 days and I think you had two weeks to return it. So then I got this and it already felt so much better. Thicker, like the body just felt so much better than the Sony. This is the box that it came in. Both boxes weren't like bougie or anything. Like it's not like you open, you know, a new iPhone or some kind of Apple product because that packaging is pretty bougie. So this is just it. I look very sick. <laughs> anyway, so it just came with the battery and the charger in this box. It came with the wrist uh, thing too. This is basically it. Like it's very easy to use. I think the only thing is that nowadays with newer technology, there's easier ways to transport your data from your camera to your computer. So by that, they actually developed a new app for this. Well, I don't know if it's new, but they did develop an app in which you can basically, I think it's, oh, here it is. It's the Bluetooth, that's a Bluetooth symbol, right? it'll read in your data from your camera into your computer. I don't remember what the issue was, but it was really annoying. So because I have a newer MacBook model, I had to get this converter. Um, it's a USB-C and newer computers just, well, at least my MacBook doesn't have just a drive for your SD card. My old Mac did, but I got that like seven years ago. So this is what I had to use and it's way easier than just using like the software. I'm also a little old school and just, I'd rather just put my SD card in this and then plug it into my computer. So that's what I use. That's the only issue that I had with this camera. But anyway, it takes this SD card. This is pretty much it. You put your, your SD card and I don't know. I'm sure that you guys know how to use battery. <laughs> I'm sure that you guys know how to do this part. Here is the battery, but that's basically it. Functionality wise, it's pretty good. Um, this is the swivel screen, which is what I really wanted. And it's small, it's so small and I can literally fit it into my pocket and you just walk everywhere, see exactly what you're doing. And if you're embarrassed to walk, you could just like hide it and it kind of looks like a phone. So yeah, it's been really fun to like make videos with. Yeah, I think this is very good for like a beginner. Oh, it also has this grip part. To play back footage, you have to like double so this press. Is my setup for now. Then you have your settings on top, obviously. So it's just like a basic camera and then your record. Oh, and then it has this for the flash. It's pretty cool. I don't take pictures of this most of the time. It's mostly just, it's mostly just videos for me. The pictures are pretty good. And so are the videos only if you're filming outside though. I don't know if this, cause the Sony used to do this. And when I was doing research, people say that this would happen. But if you do record in like a darker area, the footage is gonna turn out more grainy. Like if you're in a dark room or just like filming at night, these usually look best in front of the ring light, for example, or if you're outside filming. So that is one thing I do have to say. So I think that if you are out and about, you know, on the run and you're doing stuff during the day, this is definitely a good camera or like even doing things like shooting, if you like to go golfing, you're good to go. And the other thing I wanna address is even my dad, I showed them the new camera a while ago and he was like, why buy a new camera and record with that when I could just record on my phone? Because the phone is like very good quality sometimes. And sometimes the sound is better, honestly, than this one. The only reason why I think it's, it is better is because of convenience. I say that because when you're recording on your phone, you're also 
also taking pictures or doing other things on your phone. And it just takes up more data on your phone or, or like your iCloud storage in general. This one makes it easier to just get all the videos you actually want. And then again, you just pop it into your computer and then upload them or whatever. And you do your next step. So I just think it's better to do that. Sometimes if I'm on the go or if I don't always have this, I do record on my phone. But then I kind of forget about those videos and tend to like only like put those in my videos. So that kind of screws me up later. So I try to carry this everywhere and just have everything on this camera. But again, here it is. I don't think I actually really showed it. And there's a screen, the swivel up screen. So it's very nice. I'm going to attach it and replace this phone so you can see the difference visually and the audio. You can hear the difference. Switching in three, two. Okay, so now I'm on my camera. To me, it looks better visually. I haven't moved the ring light or anything, so this is what it looks like from the camera point of view. I think the iPhone was obviously a little weird too because the camera is on this side and then I laid it out like this, so obviously. You can compare the audio. I usually have to edit my audio because it sometimes the iPhone really is better. Usually it's it's very clear. And obviously the ring light helps. So but if you're a new vlogger and you're just starting out like me, like I only have 72 subscribers, but it's still really fun and it's still really exciting for me as a hobby. I do think it's just a good camera to start out with. This ring light that I'm that I have, it's pretty big, it's really nice. It was like 130, but it also works as just like a regular tripod, so it's been pretty nice. But that's all I have for today today especially if you're starting a new channel it is very fun to vlog with i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and want to see more like this all right have a good day mm, you guys are really close to me right now <laughs> go please <laughs> fun i cannot open this with one hand let's be honest Hopefully this is the right one. Wore this shirt for the video yesterday. I wanted to just come home and change out of my work clothes. I got just a Canon battery pack NB13L. Oh my God, I swear. Ooh, it has a tab on the back. Just wanna make sure it's the right. I mean, obviously it looks exactly the same. Cool. I cleaned it. Okay, I got my next camera accessory. A case? Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's a lot bulkier than what I thought. And that's it.